हे देर दिस इज अक्षित मदान वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो एंड आई होप यू गाइज आर लाइकिंग दिस डार्ट कंप्लीट बिगनर टू एडवांस्ड सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी टू स्टेटमेंट्स दैट इज ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट एंड कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट राइट एंड दीज टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर बेसिकली यूज वेन यू आर यूजिंग लूप्स सो एज आई हैव टेकन द नेम ऑफ लूप दैट मीन्स आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉर लूप और वाइल्ड लूप राइट so let's try to first of all write a basic loop i hope you guys all already know loops we have already seen this in previous videos right so i'm going to write a simple loop that is going to print multiples of 2 till 10 right so what i'm going to do i'm going to first of all define a main function right and i'm going to say for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus and you are going to print what i'm going to print i'm going to print i into 2 right and if i just format it it looks beautiful now and if i just run it it prints me the table of 2 right 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 20 that's right now what my question is or my problem statement is that you don't need to print the multiples of 2 if your i is odd right you only need to print the multiples of 2 if your i is even right that means when i is 2 i is 1 first of all i is going to be 1 and my answer is 2 right then i don't want to print it i don't want to print this 2 or i can also say that in this table there are 10 numbers i don't want to print the numbers which are having index odd and i want to print the numbers which are having index even right and i am starting my index from 1 not from 0 right that means i am going to skip 2 i am going to skip 6 10 14 and 18 and i am going to print 2 8 sorry 4 8 12 16 and 20 right so let's do how you are going to do it so first of all i i know that i need to uh, first of all define a condition right if my i mod 2 equal to equal to 0 right that means i am and i am on even index right because my i is my index and my i am uh, multi- i am like dividing by 2 and if i get remainder 0 that means my index is even right and if my index is even i want to print this uh, multiple of 2 right so i'm going to cut this from here and i'm going to paste it over here right so this is going to work this is going to work right if my i is mod equal to equal to 0 i am going to print it i am running it that's fine so it is going to print uh, the intended numbers 4 8 12 16 and 20 that i predicted right now what my question is or what my problem statement is as soon as i reach 5 as my index i want to stop this loop i don't want to go further right so i am saying that whenever i reach 5 as soon as i reach 5 i want to break this i want to come out of this loop right so what i'm going to do is this condition is correct this is correct right i'm going to put another condition if i equal to equal to 5 then you just break it then you just break it and as soon as i'm going to break it i'm going to come out of this loop and i'm going to print loop is over i hope i am clear right and if i just run it so what should be our pred- prediction so at this time my index is 2 at this time my index is 4 but at this time my index is 6 so i should not get 12 16 and 20 i should get out the get out of this loop after 8 right i just run it see 4 8 and loop is over so i'm coming out of this loop as soon as i reach 5 so further indexes will not be uh, c- taken into consideration right so this was the significance of break so at a particular condition if you want to if you wish to come out of the loop then you use break statement then what is the use of continuous statement so is it means that you don't want to actually break from the loop you want to continue from there that means if my i is equal to is equal to 5 then i don't want to do anything at this index i want to continue right and i want to make it a little bit different now 
I'm going to make it not equal to zero. That means now I'm going to print odd indexes multiples. So if I just run it, if I just run it, what I'm going to get? Two, six, ten, and after that loop is over, right? So as soon as it as it is reaching number five, index five, it is coming out of this loop, right? And why ten is being printed? Because I am saying that as soon as I'm I'm going to reach five, I'm going to come out of this loop. Because before this statement, I'm running this if condition, and this condition satisfies it, right? It satisfies it. Five is not a multiple of two. Five is uh, like five is an odd index, so it is going to print it. So ten is printed, and after that, it found that hey, there is another condition. If i equal to five, then break it, and it is breaking it. And further indexes, further odd indexes, multiples are not getting printed. Seven will not be reached. Nine will not be reached. That's why fourteen and eighteen are not printed here. Right? Now let's go to continue. So I'm going to say continue. Right? So this means that if I reach five, I want to continue. Does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense. And now I'm going to make this condition before this condition. So what will happen is, as soon as it reaches five, it is not going to go inside this statement. It is going to continue. It it is going to make my index another index. The next index six six will be my new index. It is not going to go further in this for loop, right? And make sure it is not coming out of this loop. It is not coming out of this loop. It is just getting the number or the index incremented. It is not taking consideration five, right? Let's just run it, and you are going to see the answer: two, six, fourteen, and eighteen. So ten is not printed. That means the multiple of five, like five into two, is not printed because as soon as it reaches five, it is going to continue. And as is, as it continues, my next index will be six. Six is not going to get printed because six is even. Then seven, yes, seven is odd, so seven will be printed. Like seven into two will be printed. When it reaches eight, not printed because it is even. Then nine, yes, nine is odd, and nine into two will be printed. And after that, when my loop ends, as soon as I reach ten, that's over and loop is over. I hope I was clear. If you have any doubt, you can reach out to me on my LinkedIn, my Instagram, or you can also put your doubt in the comment section. If you are having any doubt regarding break and continue after this video, you can definitely ask it in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating, and thanks a lot.